Hey guys, this is 3D Kid, and today I'm going to be talking about my visit to Laser Lines. So, about a couple of weeks ago now, Laser Lines invited me down to their place in Oxfordshire. I went there just this Tuesday, it's Friday now. I've had a few things to do, but now I'm finally making the video, and let's get straight into it. So I was originally talking about the TCT show with Gerald on email because I was going to interview them there. But anyway, I can't go now because you have to be 16. But anyway, I can't go now because you have to be 16. So then she had a word with Dan and Richard and they said, yeah, invite him down. So I went there Tuesday. So I'm going to give you a brief introduction about Laser Lines. Laser Lines has been going for just over 40 years now. They originally started off selling lasers and then later on in the company Stratasys, which is one of their main uh, providers, came out with the first 3D printer that they've used. And they had a few of the old printers there, about 10, 20 years old, and they were big machines, heated chambers, and they were really cool. Then Dan, who is in charge of the MakerBots they have there, was using MakerBots, and then a few years later, Stratasys actually bought MakerBot, but they were using MakerBots before Stratasys bought them. So that was just a crazy coincidence. So Dan is in charge of the MakerBots. I'm going to talk about him first and then I'll go on to talk about Richard who is in charge of the Bureau. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, he's in charge of the big format FDM Polyjet 3D printers. So first of all, Dan, this is his business card. It's quite cool because it comes out and there's a USB stick telling you everything about it. He has a few MakerBots there at the moment, I think three. There'll be videos on screen throughout this video. And all of his MakerBots have smart extruders, so no more clogging or anything like that like they used to. And they're actually a pretty decent machine. Most of the things on this table are printed on the MakerBots. And in this box is something special, which I'll go on to later. First of all, me and Dan and my dad, who took me, had a conversation with Dan about the MakerBots. Just a general one, really. Then they were talking about MakerBot's newish filament, which is like a... It's a PLA, but there's something in it that makes it really sturdy and tough. And he was showing me that uh, a PLA print, it's a hinge, would um, usually just snap, which this is, and the corner broke off, as he showed me. But then this hard PLA it really copes with these hinges really well. Okay, so Dan showed me this in laser lines. And they had a big room with no one in, so I'm going to be careful when doing this. So in the garden after this video and i'll show you it later um so they also gave me this ghost that glows in the dark i think it's the only exotic material that makerbot makes then they have some fidget spinners with their logo on so now i'm going to talk about richard he is in charge of the brewery not sure how to say that as i said there's all big printers there massive printers which can reach 400 degrees Celsius easily. They have these massive spools of filament which are kept in this metal thing, which detects when it's out of filament, which is pretty cool. So then these are a few samples, well I say a few, there's loads. <laughs> these are some samples from these big printers and all the materials they print in. This is ABS ES07, ABS M30, Digital ABS Green, PC ABS. These printers mainly print in ABS. So I don't think any of them print in PLA except the MakerBots, which print PLA only. ASA, Nylon Carbon Field, Nylon 12, Polycarbonate, Ultem 10, Ultem 9085, and Rig Ure. So you can tell these printers print in pretty impressive stuff so the next printer i'm going to talk about which printed the things in this box is a really cool printer 
it is a printer that takes four colours like the ones in 2D printers and they also have a support material in there which is like a jelly thing. All of the filament in this printer is liquid and the extruder prints it out and there's two UV lights each side of the extruder and as it goes past it cures it and it looks really cool. With these four colours it means it can print any colour you can think of and the support that comes off of it is like a jelly support and then they blast it off with this jet wash type machine. So I'm first going to show you the less so cool but still cool prints in this box. So first here are some samples of colours which are pretty cool. Shut up, fine. Um, pretty cool colours, really nice, really good detail, turned out really good. Then two of these clips that have turned out really cool. Um, there's another one in here, see, two of these. Then this is where it starts to get really cool. There's this lizard which has three colours on it and it looks amazing. The detail is just really good. It doesn't look like it's 3D printed, it's that good. Then the next print is just a little cup holder from Laser Lines. As you can see, it has all these different colours on the rainbow on it. Really cool, the logo in the middle there just turned out really cool. Then the next thing is this lollipop which is yet again a really cool print. As you can see there's loads of colours on this and it turned out amazing. You can't even tell it's 3D printed again. It's just really cool. And then my favourite print that they sent me is this pineapple that looks literally so real. It's just amazing. Every colour of a normal pineapple on there. And I believe it is actually a scanned pineapple. Um, even all the leaves turn out really good. You can't tell. If someone gave this to you, you'd literally think it's just a really small pineapple. Um, yeah, so that is just really cool. So before I end this video, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Laser Lines, especially Gerald, especially Dan and Richard. Really cool people. Um, I suggest you check out their website, even if you're not buying anything. It's just really cool. That will be in the description. Also, all their social medias will be down there as well. And they did a blog about my visit, if you'd like to check that out. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give this a like. Subscribe if you're new. I've got more videos coming soon. Comment down below if you have a question. I'm sure I'll be able to answer them. And if I can't answer them, I will email Laser Lines and I'm sure they'll be willing to answer them for you. So I'm just going to show you the video of me smashing these. And then just some pictures of me next to the machines. Thank you for watching and bye.